Welcome to Video Game Play-by-Play. Play. I'm Ethan Calgill. I'm joined here with Andrew McCulloch. It's uh, lovely to be here again, Ethan. Thanks for having me on this beautiful, sunny day. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Andrew, for the weather report. Uh, another another show here where we're going to be, you know, doing a play-by-play of video games that we play. Also talking just a little bit about maybe some video game memories today. Today, I wanted to look at... We're big Nintendo marks. Both like Nintendo a lot. That's absolutely true. Wearing the Super Mario Brothers 3 shirt. That's right. <laughs> I get a lot of compliments on this shirt. Yeah, every day no you idea. have. A, I don't think you wear anything other than Mario or Nintendo related clothing, unless it's like you're wearing a polo or something formal. That's not true. It's either sports like Bulls or Cubs or, or Mario or Donkey <laughs> Kong. You know, any kind of Nintendo T-shirt. It's like I'm like a nerdy jock. Right. I'm not really a jock. Though. I just love sports. That's a good. I'm more of a spec, more of a spectator than I am an athlete yeah. myself. All right, so we're going to be looking at the 3DS today. We both brought our 3DS in. You've got the you've got the regular one. Yeah, you've the got, regular size. You got one. the XL. The XL. Bad eyesight or just you know more big more hands. more features. You know, I, I, better better. I just like the, the screen size. Yeah, and you know what? The sad thing is, this can still fit in my wallet. Like this is still portable for me. Really? Yeah. I don't see how that could fit. My, it couldn't fit in my wallet. I bet you my try fitting it in though. your wallet. Ooh, I don't think I can, but I'll try. Or not in your wallet, but uh, in your pocket. Oh, my pocket. Oh, yeah, I could probably fit in my pocket. Yeah, I don't know why I said my wallet. Yeah, yeah I see? could fit in my pocket. I, th- I feel like pockets are just really big these days. They are. I don't like, know why they make them that big, but... Even in my really tight clothes, I could put it in my pocket. Because like, I've had problems with like my sweatpants, like with my wallet or my keys will fall out if I'm like I just sitting like... Uh, in in my friend's basement, we're watching basketball, and I'm just sitting down. There has been times that like that I've lost my wallet there, like, and I've gone home and I have I didn't even realize it because my pockets are so baggy. So, so, kind of a, but we're not we're not new to handhelds. We've been playing Nintendo handhelds for a long time. Oh yeah, what your, absolutely. What was your first handheld that you had? Um, I didn't actually have a Game Boy Color, so mine would have okay. mine have to be Game Boy Advance. Yeah, man. that was it for me too. Yeah. I had the I used well I used to have a friend. He had. The first time I ever like was exp- like I really wanted a handheld was because I Pokemon was really popular. Oh yeah, absolutely. I remember going over to one of my friends' house in fir- in first grade for a sleepover, and I didn't really know what Pokemon was, but I saw them playing this game on their Game Boy Color, and they were talking about like capturing monsters and all this stuff, and I was like, oh, this sounds really cool. And it, I didn't. It took me a while to get a Game Boy Advance, and that was huge. I got what color? Do you remember what color yours was? Yeah, mine was kind of like the clear purple-ish color, well, oh, just like the regular. I think mine was mine was like the translucent one. Oh, you, really? You could sort of see inside of it. Yeah, you could like see all the parts yeah, that go with that. It. Was yeah, that's awesome. that's really cool. And then I remember my mom would always get pissed because I would take it with me everywhere. Like I, so would I. Uh, she would like tell me, "You need to get out of the house. Stop playing video games and get out of the house." <laughs> I would just take my Game Boy Advance and my friends at the park and play Pokemon. Yeah. So that always upset her. The thing was glued to my hand. What uh? What games did you play for your Game Boy Advance? Oh, I mean, Pokemon, um, Mario, obviously. I uh, delved into Donkey Kong Country, a little bit of backyard sports, <laughs> sports action. Uh, you know, just kind of games like that. I loved uh, like Golden Sun, and I liked Mario games like Superstar Saga. We were just talking about that earlier. Yeah, those were fun games. Um, there's so many games for it that that I that I remember playing, and then eventually I got. The big thing, though, was the SP. SP, I was just going to say, I mean, that was like a game changer. You know, it. you wouldn't think it was, but, well, nowadays, oh my gosh, every, it makes the screen so much brighter. Every every mobile device nowadays has a backlit screen. I mean, it's just like on your phone, yep. on every handheld now. But before then, you didn't have a backlit screen, so you had to have good lighting to Absolutely. play your game. Yep. And, and it was a pain because if you wanted to play at night... You, you had have to, to, you had to, you'd have to play by a lamp or have your yeah, lights you'd have on. To have a, or, or they would sell like little um, extensions for the Game Boy Advance that you yep. could put on the charger. Yeah. And it would drain more battery, but you could have like, I had like this little warm thing, like a little warm wire on it. That was like the best thing ever. I used to actually use that as a lamp to read because I was big into Harry Potter too. Oh, I'm so don't I even take, get me started I on that. I would take yeah. my Game Boy Advance, put the lamp light on, I'd turn it on just to have the light so I could read the first <laughs> <of> my book <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> in the dark. But but when the SP came out, I remember like looking at that in a magazine, and I flipped out. And I told my mom, "Look at this! It's like it's got a backlit screen. You can see it's it's got like the little clamp. You can. It's just it was like one of the best days." Yeah, I remember getting it for my birthday, and my mom was like, "So what's the difference between that and the one you have now?" I'm like, oh "Really, God. really, it's mom? Hard. It's hard. They can't, <laughs> they don't appreciate the little the little technical differences. They don't. But the, I mean, the funny thing is, my mom was 
big into playing video games too but i mean like you know the nes and stuff like that she'd always play you know you know how you have the two player on like donkey kong country yeah. or super mario world she'd play that with like my sister brooklyn and stuff you know when i was just like two years old or whatever so I my, to my whole my, family's kind of delved into the whole video game cool. i tried i tried getting my mom to play mario kart like a while ago and she was like freaking out like I, it was for the wii and i had the <laughs> yeah. the rate the wheel attachment oh so, yeah so I, would, I showed my mom like you just hold this and then press this button. And after like one race, her hands were so red because she was gripping the wheel so tight because she was so nervous because she's like so used to driving a regular car. She was freaking out. Um, so that was, that, yeah, that, that's, I can't really get into that. Uh, but you're good. So anyway, as we're talking here, how do you feel about uh, other Nintendo games? Like what did you play for the DS? The DS, well... Super Smash Bros. just came out recently. You got Mario Kart here. You know I'm big into Mario Golf, man. I'm like the best ever at it in, you're in the town of Quincy, Illinois. Beast. You're a beast at Mario Golf. You're yeah. too good at Mario Golf for, for the average person to be playing against. I think I've maybe taken like one round against you in Mario Golf. Yeah. One round. I think I've almost beat. Well, Cheap Cheap Lagoon is one of the courses that we've played. It's really hard to beat. And it's hard to, it's hard to play against you on that because the putting is so different on it. Yeah, it is. And, um, and it will throw your whole game off. Well, you have to imagine that you're playing, you know, like when it rains, you have to hit the putts a lot harder than usual, right? Exactly. You have to do that well, on every only, single hole. Not only when it rains, but when you're underwater. Well, yeah. So that's a different, that's another aspect. So you got like three different modes you got to get used to of, of putting in terms of weather. Yeah. Cheap, cheap looking. I, I don't know. I've always been all right at it. But not only that, but just like the way the ball reacts on the ground, like it bounces differently because you're underwater too. Have you noticed that? You know, like, you know, on your regular courses when you're, up up not in the mm-hmm. not in the ocean like the ball will roll uh just normally but like when you're underwater like the ball bounces like really high it, like never rolls mm-hmm. so it's you know there's a lot of different things you have to judge on that but but it's cool like handhelds are in a really cool state now because it's like things that you used to see for like consoles now like the hardware's coming to a point where like you're starting to see that on handhelds now like smash brothers on the 3ds I think it plays really well. Like, it does. Like it doesn't. It doesn't feel like you're. It's nerfed that much because of the hardware differences or playing with a controller. Yeah, I agree. Like, and it, when did you ever think that a game like Smash Bros would be on a handheld device? Exactly. That and and everything. I mean, it runs well. They captured the whole production element of it really well, and everything else for it is just stellar. I was really surprised at the quality of it. Me too. I was kind of worried about how that was going to work out. Yeah. Um, so we've, and also Mario Kart now, yeah. they, they came out like if you played the Game Boy Advance version, it was like it was sort of like the super old Super Nintendo version, yep. like in terms of the way it looked and the way it felt. But now even it's like, kind of the way it played too, exactly. So, um, and it's kind of funny going back if you ever played like the old Super Nintendo one, like it's funny how like the coins are actually like embedded on the ground mm-hmm. instead of like being something that you would just like look at as if it was elevated, you know, in an air. And just uh, different things like that. Yeah, and and now the difference you look at it now with Mario Kart Wii U, the coins are up, you know, above they the actually, ground level. Yeah, they, yeah. They, it looks like a like a normal version of it. Yeah. And Donkey Kong was like in like the singlet, the little white singlet. That was. Yep. It's funny to see those old character designs. But anyway, we both brought in our 3DS. So let's get to the point. Let's get to our play by play here. Um, you brought we brought Mario. What, we brought Mario Kart here, and we brought Smash Brothers. So. You know, we're talking about, excuse me, Mario Kart. So let's uh, let's play a little Mario Kart here. It's been a while since I played Mario Kart Seven. Me too. I played it a lot. Like I, I go in bursts with these games. Sometimes, like I'll play, like you know, when I first get them, or I get into like oh, I want to unlock everything. I'll play it just like religiously. Yeah, I mean, I I'm the same way. I don't I unless I'm really really into the game, I rarely play it. Like. I rarely find myself having the patience to play it because you know some you always get stuck on certain parts and you're just like really frustrated. You yeah. gotta put it down for a and while. What happens is you'll get stuck or you'll you'll just kind of like you'll take a break. Yeah. And then like if you want to come back to it, you kind of forget where you were, and so then like you just like like oh I gotta figure out what I, where I was and kind of like backtrack. So it's just like ah oh, screw it. But this was one of the first uh, 3ds games that I got when I bought my 3ds. So what's what do you think your favorite Mario Kart is? I think it might be this might be one of them. This is up there. I really like this one a lot. Nothing beats N sixty four for me. Really? Oh yeah. Um, I like Double Dash a lot, but I see we the Wii one was a weird thing because I kind of was 
I was like losing interest in Mario Kart a little bit and just in Nintendo games in general at that point. And then it took me a few years to kind of get really back into it. Are we going to local multiplayer, by the way? Yeah, you want to go to local here. Another good thing about new handheld, you don't have the link cables anymore. Do you remember those? Yeah. With the old Game Boy Advance trading Pokemon on the bus. Yeah. That was pretty nuts. All right, I'm going to create a room here. Okay, yeah. I'm on that right now. Waiting for players. There we go. Andrew's here. Yeah, I don't know. It's just I, I play. I've played N sixty four Mario Kart so many times, and I just I don't know a lot of memories with it. So I mean, it's always been a, a special game for me. But I have to agree, this one is probably maybe number two for me. It just feels really good. Like it just plays really well, and having the screen so close is just you know who I'm going with. <laughs> Damn it, you always go. We're doing so we're doing versus mode. Andrew's picking Yoshi. Of course, that's my that's, that's my dude. Your main in all Nintendo games, whether it's Smash Brothers or um or Mario Kart, Mario Kart, or Mario baseball, Golf, Mario Baseball. Number one pick. Yeah. I don't even know what what class. Let's do 100 CC. Okay. CPU on. It, it would be weird doing a one on one race. Yeah. Courses random. Screw it. Items, all items, teams, no. All right, so we're we're just gonna go here. We got eight, eight. Uh, what is this? eight? Eight people, eight racers, eight competitors. Eight competitors. Say. Two human, six computer. <laughs> I tried beat. I've tried like. I don't think I've beaten like the very last one. The mirror courses Those really are really a pain. It's just like there's so much frustrate, like so much luck involved, because uh, you can get really screwed over. I tried using the D-pad to steer instead of the toggle stick. <laughs> <laughs> That's how not used to this game I am. This is uh, is this Koopa Beach here? I think so. I one thing I really liked about this game was the jumping mechanic. How you like if you do it at the end of a jump? Oh crap! You get a little bit of a boost, and I just fell into the water. Did you? There we go, Snake baby. Dude, I think I. Oh, are you? Oh, never mind. I thought you were a Daisy because Daisy just overtook me for the lead. I'm back in first. No. <laughs> Oh, I'm I'm still getting used to this. I'm back in fifth place. You'll get there. <laughs> oh yeah, I'll come on the prowl. I mean, just by virtue, you'll get some good items at least by being in fifth place. You got to get those shells. As long as I don't get a, as long as no one blue shells me, I think I've got a good lead here. No, there's always a chance of that happening though. <laughs> yeah, the blue shell. <laughs> the Wii, the Wii game is the worst with it. You get blue shelled about every five seconds if you're in the lead. I swear, like I, that's like one. Of, that's like when we when we were talking about things that make you want to quit a game, having a great run and like trying to get that like perfect ranking on the circuit, and then you get that blue shell, and it just completely screws up your run. Oh yeah, that's that's rage. <laughs> like, that's rage quit material. Especially if it's on like the last race of the circuit. Yeah, and you've been doing perfect so far. I wish, like, the characters... I feel like the character selection in this game is kind of weak, though. Do you? Like, I don't like all the baby versions. Oh, no, neither do I. But I guess, really, what can you do at this point? I think the Wii U version, I haven't played that one, but that's got, like, Link in it and stuff. That's cool. I think you got me this race. I didn't manage to get myself back into second place. Oh, no, Mario's trying to overtake me. Dude, at least I could beat you in something. Like the f the first time I beat you in this game, I'm never playing you again. <laughs> Just like so you know, I had that victory. <laughs> <laughs> At least I could beat you in some like extreme sports game. I just hit Mario, so you got second place. Green shell Mario. Nope, he's got me. <laughs> I I think I got fifth, fourth. I got fourth. I ran into the uh, the crab at the end of the race. <laughs> Koopa Beach. Let's try some uh, coin battle. All right. We'll try a bunch of di we'll try all the different modes here. I don't play a lot of the, the different modes that much. There's like balloon battle where you shoot the guy. Yeah, balloon battle. Let's see. So Let's see. the roster: Mario, Luigi, Peach, Yoshi, Bowser, Donkey Kong, Toad, Koopa Troopa. But see, like the last three on here, like we got Honey Queen, Wiggler, and Lakitu. 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 That's right. Why do I pronounce the name wrong? And then you got your me. Oh, I forgot you can have your me on here. Yep. 
I don't know anybody who is clamoring for Honey Queen. No. They got to have the gray skeleton. What are the red, the gray, the skeleton Koopa Troopa? Dry bones. That's, that's, what, yeah. God, you're so good at the Mario lore. <laughs> you're a lore master. <laughs> uh, yeah, all random. So we were doing balloon battle? Yes, sir. Balloon battle. Classic. Three. On the classic donut. Dude, this is the best this is the best battle. Actually, no, ah, I forget the name of the battle on uh N64. Man, the, I, the, I the feel best like battle the N64 one is probably the one that I I played the least. Damn. Out of all the Mario Karts. Oh, got one got one shot. I think you just passed me. I killed a guy. <laughs> Figuratively speaking. <laughs> Finally, a Mario game where you can sort of kind of kill somebody. <laughs> Mario first person shooter game. <laughs> I've got one balloon frag, if you will. Three for me. Oh, jeez, dude. You're really picking up there. Oh, yeah. I can't really. I haven't really make run that into four now. Yet. Someone must have ran into my banana. I need to get some items though. Here we go. Here's some item boxes. Oh, another one. Five. I'm poning. Oh crap. Oh, I just hit myself, but I got one guy. <laughs> Damn green shell. I got. Oh darn. Oh, I got. I guess the, I forgot the red shell doesn't. Um, oh. I just about ran off the track. <laughs> the red shell doesn't hone. Screw you! Ian. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> you can't. You can't stop that. I could. No, I couldn't because. Well, you know how in the middle of the track there's like that blue, uh, the blue thing that lets you fly. Yeah. Well, that disappeared on me right as I was getting ready to go on it, so I would have fall, fallen off the track. So I had to stop. I just got you back, so we're good. <laughs> I activated my triple green shell right on top of you. It's so weird because, like, the oh, red Luigi just barely escaped my green shell. <laughs> I'm getting too many green shells. Where are you at? You're one ahead of me. Oh, I got one. You're going to beat me by two. I, I'm six. I'm a, I got six. I couldn't find anybody to hit. That's the, yeah, that's one of those weird things. Like, for the first half, I couldn't find anybody. That second part, I got. Oh, you went with Toad that game. Yep. Interesting change of pace. Let's try another one. Do another battle on here. I actually enjoyed that. That was pretty fun. Yeah, it was fun. Oh, Mario Kart. Now we're doing it on uh, Koopa Beach again. I think this one's from the from the regular DS version. This battle map. I tied the D the the one for the DS. I played that one so. Oh gosh, Luigi! I almost ran into Luigi. Get rid of one of your green shells there. That's all right. <laughs> I got two more, baby. I know you do. <laughs> I'm content just to do this all day. Where on earth are the items at? Are they all in the middle? I, yeah, it looks like it. Oh, oh, that is disaster. That's why I love that green, that triple green shell. Oh, damn it, Luigi. Another. Mm, no luck with the items. Banana. Oh, boy. You, who got, <laughs> did you get three green red shells? Yep. That's ridiculous. You should be disqualified. That's not even fair. It's jealousy at its finest. I'm getting, I'm getting boned <laughs> here. Oh, this guy just threw a bomb right on me. That's great. <laughs> <laughs> this game sucks. I, I take back what I said. I, another green. I got hit by a banana. That's great. Dude, this this the whole middle of the of the. I just, just I've just been driving. Up I've with just all been, these bananas in the middle. <laughs> They're all mine. Jesus! How every did you get so every many single bananas? one of them was mine. I can't do this. I gotta get out of this area. That's what I did. But there's no other. I don't think maybe there's some items on the outskirts. There's not. They're all Are in the middle. Me? Oh, this is a disaster. I can't even enjoy my green shells because they're just. I'm just gonna take out all your bananas, so you don't get any points for them. I just lost. I had a lead too, and I lost my th my last uh, balloon, so I don't have the lead anymore. I I don't have a single balloon strike. I can't I can't handle this today. 
DK Sun got you. Discrimination <laughs> at its finest. That's a W for Toad. How many how many strikes did you have? I won. Not, I uh, had five. Well, actually, I had more. I think I had eight, but I lost. I lost three balloons, so that's minus three right there. All right, let's do. Uh, what's the what's the album? Coin Coin Runners, where you got to collect all the coins. Yeah. All right. Going with DK again. Usually when I would play these games just by myself, I'd usually do like team battles. Oh, really? Yeah, just it kind of it kind of evens things out, you know, because, you know, the human is obviously a lot better than a well, of course. computer, so. Unless you're playing on like. Expert. Which, yeah. yeah. In, in that? that case, it's just cheap. Yeah. They just get blue shells. Same map again. The little beach. There, we finally got a good start for me. Oh, he beat me to that coin, oh, son of a bitch. The gold wheels, baby. Ah, I'm trying to get you. I saw you on my tail. Nah, I knew you had an item, so I kind of backed off a little bit. K <laughs> KY KYI, know your items. That's right. <laughs> I just got bombed by Daisy, though. Holy moly, bajoli. Oh. Oh, I don't know what I'm doing here. I'm going to oh, do a little bit of... Too fast to get that coin. Come back, DK. No, sir. No, 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 no. Get away. You got the star. <laughs> I didn't realize. Oh, nope. Nice try, bud. <laughs> I tried. You damn right I tried. <laughs> Two, three bananas right in front of me. <laughs> I'm just going to hide behind this palm tree. <laughs> Get the lead and hide. You can't hide from me. <laughs> I'm going to do my best. Sniping. Whoa. <laughs> Dude, this is not. Get away from me. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't touch you. You get them. Oh, dude. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> you got the fireballs. <laughs> oh, I almost hit myself trying to get you. At least Yoshi's tied with you now. <laughs> dude, I'm saving this green shell for you if you come near me. <laughs> you can count on me coming near you. Oh, I know it. <laughs> Gotta get a good. Oh. Oh, I got Yoshi. Yeah. I want to let an, an expletive so bad right now. I really <laughs> it took everything in my in my just willpower not to just yell at the top of my lungs there. Where are you? 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 Oh. I know I'm not gonna win. So go. What? Come no, on, no, 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 go no. get there. Get the nope. Oh, it's alright. Oh. You still didn't win. <laughs> <laughs> I was so close to getting another coin. I did every I, I did everything in my absolute <laughs> power to make sure you lost because <laughs> I knew I wasn't gonna win. We gotta do. We gotta do one more. Someone, a, a human has to win one of these. At least one of us has to win. It's probably not gonna be me. <laughs> You're just being an agent of chaos at this point. That's right. Oh crap! And oh, this is this is a one definitely the, a classic track. Yep, they are inspired by it at least. Yeah. Uh, I just hit the mole. Great. It's a lot, a lot bigger of a track, so it's a lot harder for you know someone to follow you. So that's good for you. And it's more se se sectioned off, so you can't just... Dude, I got these three bananas for you, so you come near me, bud. I have no idea where you're even at, dude. I don't even know where anything is right now. Oh, I saw you there. Oh, thank you. Oh, you so Oh, Man, dude, you, you are a jerk. Damn it, I wanted to get you again just to completely destroy your morale. <laughs> oh, I almost nailed you with the, the banana. Bro, you can't nail me. I don't know. DK likes his bananas. All right, we got to get this. No, who do we got to get? Who, who's got the lead? Oh, yeah, we got this lady. <laughs> Damn, I'm trying to get this so bad. <laughs> I can't get that damn coin. <laughs> <laughs> Man. Dude, I'm just... I love this tail. The, the that to, Dude, that's the best item. You just get that guy in the corner and you just screw him over so bad. <gasps> oh, give me that coin. Dude, what is up with this? 
Someone's got to win here. We got 30 seconds. Ah, damn it. Oh, I'm taking that coin. There I just go. bombed somebody with a lot of coins. It wasn't you. Get away from me. I'm backing up and getting away from you. <laughs> oh, hey, you wanted a you wanted a human to win, so I was gonna help you. Yeah, out. but not for you to attack me. I wasn't going to attack you. I don't trust you. That's I was the gonna problem. attack somebody else. You haven't proven yourself to be trust trustworthy. I I would actually disagree with that. I bombed somebody that had six coins that I was trying to help you, and oh. you still lost, son. This oh, is had two coins. I'm not a coin guy. I'm more of a balloon battle guy. I got seventh. <laughs> Only person I beat was Peach. <laughs> it's embarrassing. Pretty embarrassing. But I wasn't really trying. I was trying to just screw people over, especially that first race. If you get my drift. Like old Mario. It's like Mario Party. It's like you already know you lost, so you might as well just screw over the, le the leading player. That's what I do. Mar um, there is no game that would make me saltier than Mario Party. Ma Mario is a very frustrating endeavor. I want to look at my stats here. I can actually, I know there's a way to look at all the, the races that I've done. I'm curious to like, because it's been a while since I played this and looked at my stats. I played a lot of this online. Yeah. It's pretty beast. Where are we at on time right now? Oh, we're about, we're wrapping up here. Wrapping up? Yeah. Um, do, 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 do. <laughs> you play with the 3D on? No. You got the 3D on right now. No, I don't. See? Oh. That's weird. I know. It's lit. It's like the 3D part is lit up, but I don't have any of the 3D on at all. See? Like, your top screen looks different. Oh, yeah. That's weird. Um, Single player? Oh, never mind. You got to go into the online and just look it up through there. It's been so long since I played this game. I don't even know what my stats would be. So unfortunately, we won't be able to uh, delve into Super Smash Bros. this episode, but there's always time for that some other time. Remember when we played that on the trip to Louisville forever? Oh, yeah. Here we go. I've got 229 wins, 120 losses. I've collected over 1,800 coins. What's my mess? Oh, here's my my. <laughs> you can edit your message. That's my message. CM Punk <laughs> is cool. What was that from like four years ago? Oh, that, yeah, that was probably <laughs> when I first started this game. Like, <laughs> you can definitely tell how old this game is. So since we can't play Smash Bros today, why don't you tell me who your favorite character is and why? Villager. Why? Because the because he can shoot fireworks and he's got that little fire rocket. You can just stand on the edge and shoot the rocket. Oh, it's great. One one on one, I'm I'm I could go pro with with villager. Going on the competitive scene, think you could beat me? I can beat you one on one. I can't beat you with other people. With, yeah, because <laughs> Mac is like just takes out lots of guys. Mac's like more of a point fighter. I'm sneaky with Yoshi too. When there's Yoshi's other people, deadly. when you're worried about other people, that's that's when you die. Yoshi's ridiculous because he's got that jump. He's got he just he can just like go all over the map with his little egg attack that he can jump in the air with. Yep. It's cheap. What do you mean it's cheap? It's not fair. How is that not fair? It's not balanced properly. How is it fair that a little villager can throw bombs <laughs> and all kinds of different weapons? Zoning. You're, you're it's strategy. It's hypocrisy. No. <laughs> Villager's the best. I might go as villager for Halloween. Simple costume. Really? That passionate about it, are we? All all you need is like a butterfly net. You just got to get the shirt, and then cargo shorts and some shoes, and your villager. Sounds like Ness. Kinda. <laughs> Although Ness has the backpack. Yeah, it's that's true. That's a key distinction. You, you can borrow mine. <laughs> yeah. I brought mine today. That's great. Back to, back to college. Back. To, nope. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out, son. So we played a little bit of some 3DS games. Uh, next week, who knows what we'll be doing, but. Uh, maybe some Smash Brothers, maybe, some, maybe something else. Always uh, something, uh, you know, always a surprise. Always it's fresh. Keep you on your heels. Fresh. F-R-E-S-H-Z. Oh, fresh. Ding! That means you're incorrect. <laughs>